The television presenter and journalist called the delays, which are causing havoc nationally, a scandal. Appearing on Tuesdays this morning alongside fellow guest Camilla Tomini and hosts Alison Hammond and Dermot O'Leary, Nick Ferrari, 63, blasted airlines for not backing up extra staff needed following cuts made during the COVID-19 pandemic. Ferrari's rant comes as passengers hoping to get away for half-term have been hit by delays and cancellations. A number of flights have been axed, leaving holidaymakers stranded. It's just hellish, this morning presenter Dermot commented as airport scenes were shown. Especially our Platinum Jubilee, that is in jeopardy, Allison pointed out. That is so wrong, Nick remarked. To a point that Camilla made, the airlines and also the airports have to look to themselves. They cut, and I understand I completely, I get why they had to cut staff during COVID because virtually the world had stopped moving, but it's not as if it comes as a big surprise that you approach the half-term holiday. Add in another fact that you've got this jubilee at the end of the week. They should have been taking on more staff, they'll bleat and moan that they'll take extra training and it takes four, five, six weeks to train to be a baggage handler and I'm sure it does, but then back it up. The radio host raged, start all that time ago. We can see the summer holidays are coming and I tell you now, we will be having these conversations, they are not moving soon enough and it's a scandal they're still selling holidays. I won't name the companies but holidays are still selling trips to Tenerife when they know they can't get the planes out there. When Dermot asked for Nick's thoughts on whether the situation could improve, he replied, although in fairness, the airlines are moving as quickly as they can and indeed the airports, there are jobs available and some people have left the industry, some airports are paying like £1,000 for, if I introduce you to come and work at the airline, I'm going to get an extra £1,000. So that is how critical the staff shortages are, I get it. But they should have been alive to this and at the moment the experts that I speak to on the radio, they can't see anything changing. And my callers, they're calling me from Stansted, they're calling me from Heathrow, they're going nuts. It's so frustrating, Allison agreed. And I suppose we should encourage people not to go away at the moment but really, we need to get away. All the restrictions are dropped, why don't they just bring the people that they let go in the pandemic who were trained and try to entice them back? Because a lot of them don't live here anymore, Dermot responded. And also it's changed the way they work, Camilla added. Some people, in the pandemic, just changed everything decided to work at home and they don't like getting up at 4 in the morning for a 6 a.m. shift at the airport. The other thing that might help, and I think airport bosses have been saying this, people are turning up far too early because they're worried about queues and missing their flight. That's totally understandable, but if you're getting there 6 or 5 hours in advance when you could be 2 or 3 hours in advance, that's more sensible. This morning airs weekdays from 10 a.m. on ITV.